Hi everyone. So what is that one thing? Apparently among many other things, you know, that it's a common for everyone every day. That is what I want to be talking about today. I'll be talking on the subject of forgiveness. And for me, I believe this is something that we have to go through like almost every day. I'll be sharing a little of my knowledge, probably my experience about forgiveness. And I hope this blesses you today. Thank you. So don't forget that this is Sounds and Hope channel, a channel where we spread hope. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on that subscribe button because I tell you there are many beautiful, wonderful videos you will be seeing from this channel. Also, hit like, like this video right now and please share with your friends. Thank you. So like I said, we'll be talking about forgiveness. Just a few days back, I was reading, um, it was my uh, quiet time and I was reading about forgiveness and I did a little peek into the dictionary to see the dictionary meaning of forgiveness, which is what birthed this video. And then I discovered something that forgiveness is defined in the dictionary as a voluntary, intentional, conscious effort. You know, I've never seen forgiveness that way before, and that is why it's a big deal to me. Over the years, I've had people offend me from time to time and why i said it's something that is probably a daily common for everyone is because we go out we relate with friends family we, re we relate with workers co-workers at work and strangers neighbors and sometimes maybe some people maybe not as often as daily but people step on your toes or you step on other people's toes and then it is expedient that forgiveness comes in because that is what can foster healthy relationship. Now, we see forgiveness is very important even between husband and wife. And believe me, you, maybe husband and wives, I, I mean, husbands and wives are the ones that would even need this more. I don't know, I may be wrong. Or maybe siblings. All, all I'm saying is that the closer you are in relationship with someone, the more you relate with people, with someone, the closer that relationship gets, there might be more need for forgiveness. Yes, but it's very, um, you know, it's a great thing that Christ has made this possible for us. It's not something that I think it's natural with man, human being, to forgive. I don't know, it may not, I mean, you just look at if it's going to be a conscious effort then that means it's not natural it doesn't come naturally to you to want to forgive someone that has hurt you to for, forgive someone who has disappointed you there are sometimes you place people in high esteem you know you have placed them somewhere which of course i have learned over the years shouldn't always be because sometimes expectations lead to disappointment you know in my life I've had to deal with people that I think, oh, these people are really high up there. Yeah, they are doing so great and all of these things. And then something happened, they disappoint you. It is just simple. It's because they are still human. No matter the level of grace in a man's life, it might still disappoint you. And that is why forgiveness is key. You don't want to continue in that disappointment. You don't want to continue looking at people with that kind of high yes and like i was saying is not something that comes natural with human being and that is why the dictionary defines it in a, a psychological sense as a conscious deliberate voluntary action something that you have to do something that is not it doesn't come natural but you have to do it and there are three reasons why we have to do it i'll I'll be looking at those three reasons shortly, briefly. Number one, because God commands it. Yes, Jesus Christ in the Bible talked about the issue of forgiveness. He told his disciples that if anyone offends them, or uh, offends them 70 times, seven times, and the same person turns back and asks for forgiveness, what should you do? You should forgive. 
I don't know about you, but this is something that sometimes naturally, yeah, I want to be vulnerable here. This is something that naturally sometimes I struggle with. I mean, I am a child of God and eventually I have to forgive. But what dawned on me a little while ago was that yes, Jesus Christ commanded it. There is a place of grace. That grace is available for a believer to forgive. That means even you're better placed to forgive someone than a natural human, someone who doesn't have a relationship with God. Because there is grace that has been freely given to you, to me, at the true Calvary. So, but what I understood a few days ago was that there is still the part of that consciousness. I've heard somebody say, you know, a Christian that will say she was hurt, she was in, in, in a relationship, you know, and then they broke off that relationship. Maybe the person hurt her badly. A Christian relationship or a Christian sister. And then she said she went, she was crying, really crying. And then she had to, you know, say, um, so, 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 I forgive you in prayers. So, 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 I forgive you. It was deliberate. And that is because although the grace is there, it's something you have to tap into to do. And when you look at even human beings, I mean, natural relationship, husband and wives, husbands, wives, I mean, husband and wife, you offend each other. And then, <laughs> that is even irregular sometimes, you know, especially when the um, married couple are still trying to get to know each other. There might be, there is tendency that they might offend each other more, I mean, a lot of times and then if the bible has commanded it if god christ has commanded it then he almost is on us to forgive people it doesn't matter that we have placed these people here and they have disappointed us we still have to forgive i pray god will give us the grace in jesus name secondly what is the second reason why you should forgive the second reason is simple it is because of yourself you need to forgive because that is one of the things I discovered a few days ago. Of course, I know this subject. I mean, something that what I'm about to say, I, I kind of have the idea before. But then I was meditating and I discovered that even for yourself, you want to forgive. John Hopkins University wrote an article on forgiveness, which is what really, really spurred me to um, do this video. And they linked forgiveness to your health, to my health. And they discovered that resentment generally or um, issues that are unresolved, whether between you and your spouse or between people, between siblings, can have a way of affecting or hampering your health. And they also increase your tendencies or they increase your risk for certain sicknesses and illnesses in signs. Like it can increase your risk of heart attack it can increase your risk of um, high cholesterol levels anxiety can be um, a reward of a forgiveness yes i mean when i mean a reward i'm trying to say that can be a result something that, that can happen when you don't let go of resentment towards people which is why it is very important these and many more things are things that you know i think i've even heard about the one of um ulcer and all of these things and that means as much as you you are working on yourself science doctors are saying that it is important that you also do not have resentment towards people because these things foster health they help you live a more healthy life. They help you live a more productive life. And really, if you look at it, you see that when you are resentful towards people or you feel there is a friction between you and people, there is a way it kind of dampens you. And so they are saying that it even affects your health. So that means forgiveness is very important even for your own health. I don't know if you know that today, but even if you do know, please be reminded that you don't want to go a day carrying this load of resentment against people, carrying this load of unforgiveness. Yes, if you are even a believer, you're a Christian, 
God makes it even easier for you because the grace of God is there. Just tap into it. But don't forget that it is a conscious effort. That is what this video is about today. It is something you have to do. You let go of that resentment. I, for one, I can testify to that, that I've struggled in the past, even when I think I have, you know, grown past this issue. And then you see this person and you're not 100% towards them, you know, you feel like, why am I still feeling this way? I thought I've for forgiven her or forgiven him. That is because it is time for you to purposely, consciously let go. If it means saying it out loud in prayer, if it means, you know, um, doing anything just to make sure that you can say that I don't even feel anything again about this issue. Yes, there is also the issue of forgiveness and forgetfulness. That is not what this video is about today. Maybe I'll talk about that some other time. But yes, please forgive for your own self, for your own sake, for your own health. Thirdly, why should we forgive? We want to forgive because of others. You want to forgive because you care about others. You want to forgive because as much as you love yourself, you want to be healthy, you know? And then you're making these changes because you know it affects your health in one way or the other. You also want to do it because of the person that you're forgiving, for the sake of that person. You want to forgive them as well because who knows sometimes resentment is shared you're resenting me when i'm resenting you and then when you make a move to forgive this person and you make it even intentional you approach the person can we talk about this thing i'm sorry this is the way i felt can we talk about this i mean you let it go it is something that is worth talking about sometimes if you feel that you messed up or you missed it or you did something wrong let's go and say i'm sorry so what i'm trying to say is that you forgive even for the sake of others because you care about them you care about their health because like i said often resentment is shared or it goes back and forth it could be that you started it and then the person also resents you for one thing or the other you obviously resent each other but then because you care about your own self, your health, you want to care about them as well and make sure they live a good life. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining me on today's talk on forgiveness. I hope it has blessed you in one way or the other. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like it's like right now on this video. And please don't forget to share with your friends. Who knows, you might be blessing someone today. Thank you once again for being with me. Bye-bye.